One of the many things I'm grateful for at Edison, as I mentioned earlier, is the dedication to helping all families. You now get a, to make a difference in a lifetime, and you're about to hear a story of one young man making a difference in many students' lives. I am very proud. Well, I'm going to wait till you. Come on up, please. Everybody, everybody. I now have the distinct pleasure and honor of introducing one of our top sophomores, Shay Brooks. Thank you, Mr. McGuire, for the introduction. As he has said, my name is Shay Brooks, and I'm a sophomore at Edison High School. I was diagnosed with ADHD at an early age. For those of you who don't know what ADHD means, it means attention deficit hyperactive disorder. My pediatrician and my mom knew, from, knew something was different about me because I never could sit still or, or concentrate on one task. I was lucky when I was younger because my mom went to Portland State University, so I attended the Helen Gordon Center on the PSU campus. During my preschool and kindergarten years at the Helen Gordon Center uh, is where I learned that being kind and generous was more important than being the smartest. I learned how to talk effectively with, with others and other basic social skills. My mom had me when she was 17 years old and has raised me as a single mother. When I was younger, although she did not fully understand my learning differences, she did everything she could, she could do to help me be successful including support groups and counseling. When I was six years old, my mom, my mom enrolled me in public school kindergarten. After two weeks, my teachers told, me, told my mom that I was not ready for school, school yet and asked for me to be left behind a year. Uh, yeah. My mom agreed, but she was, not, she was not happy about it. She never wanted me to f feel like I was different. My mom has always told me that I was a, great, that I was a good kid. But in my humble opinion, I'm a great kid. <laughs> she, wanted me, she wanted me to be known as a, ni a nice and kind person. However, since I was left behind a year from others, it f I felt like I had to work harder to catch up with them. When I was in the second grade, I was prescribed medication for my ADHD. The medication made me not feel like my, feel or act like myself. It went. I went from being a happy, smiling, smiling kid to a zombie child the, <laughs> that no one in my family recognized. It was a, It was at the same time that I was placed in an individual learning plan in public school. Through my IEP, ILP, I was given resource room hours where I received help in in math, writing, and re, reading and writing. Although the extra support was helpful, once again it took me away from. What my friends and away from what I thought was away from being a normal child. I simply wanted to stay in class with my friends and fit in. I w when I was in the fourth, fourth grade, my mom took me off my ADHD medication. Thank God. <laughs> the meds didn't seem to have seemed to be helping my learning because I still was not grade level at reading, writing, or math. All the meds seemed to do is take away the best parts of me. I remember in fifth grade, the teacher would hold me and my mom after school every couple of weeks to talk about how I was not, how I was not paying attention and I was, distracting, a distract, was a distraction to others in the class. His words in these meetings would bring me to tears. Distracting my friends was not what I wanted to do, it's just who I am. 
Fortunately, because of my mom and the self-confidence she has given me, I learned that other, what other people say, yes, even teachers, shouldn't affect my self-esteem. Fortunately, I have never heard a put, put down from any, of them, from any of my peers. Of course, it doesn't hurt to be the biggest guy in class. <laughs> However, these experiences led me not to be a confident, confident as a student and fully believe in myself. I have been an athlete my whole life, which is what I focus most of my time, my attention on. I found success there. In elementary and middle school, I played football, basketball, lacrosse, and baseball. My mom was, my mom was talking with one of my coaches one day, telling him how worried she was that I would, fall, I would fall further behind the next year when I started high school. He referred us to Edison, and we, have, and we decided to immediately apply. I felt I belonged there from the first visit in which I shouted for a full day. The teachers understood my learning differences and could, and could see that, and I could see that they cared about all the students. The students immediately started talking to me. I felt accepted. When Mr. McGuire called my mom and told her I was accepted, she immediately came to my school, pulled me from PE, and told me the good news with balloons in hand. It was a very happy day for our entire family. I was very excited because I knew I was going to go to a school. School. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I knew I would be go, be successful because it was the right environment for me. The Edison teachers are nice, really care about us, and want us to be the best we can be. I get the support I need in my education without feeling like an outsider. As just one example, my last year, my Miss Williams, my math teacher, made the subject easier easier to understand by helping us step by step through each pro math problem. I have discovered that math is a lot easier if you don't overthink the problems. Miss William really tries to get you to understand the math, maybe even enjoy it, <laughs> which is not always the easiest thing to do. I always say that I have the best of both worlds by getting, the gr getting a great education at Edison High School, but also the opportunity to play sports and attend social attend classes and social events at Jesuit High School. The next, this year, as a sophomore, I lettered, I lettered in varsity football and will be starting offensive lineman next year for the team. <laughs> I also have participated in track and I have played basketball. I hope to school Mr. McGuire one of these days in hoops. Um, I'm fortunate to have made many friends through sports and Jesuit at Jesuit, and I'm part of their community. I have participated with the Jes Jesuit Diversity Club for the past two years, which, which has also been fun and rewarding. I hope in the future I will be a successful athlete, ideally getting a college scholarship, and who knows, with any luck, maybe going pro. Go Raiders! But I fully understand how important it is for me to receive a college education. I am only a sophomore, but I think being, being an engineer would be great. I also, I also, also being a chef would be great as well. I love to cook, and Lord knows I love to eat. <laughs> being an Edison student, Edison student, I am confident I will have the skills to be a good college student. I have grown a lot, to, I have grown a lot here, and I'm not just talking about in height. I, know, I now know how to advocate for myself and for myself, I, I understand my learning differences and, and what is needed for me to succeed. Before I wrap up, there is one special thank you I want to give. As you can probably guess, it's my mom. She has helped me get to where I am today and has always convinced me that I, was, that I can succeed, succeed regardless of my, different, of my learning differences. I love you, mom. I would like to thank all of you here today because without you, students like me would not get the, get the chance to get the education we deserve. As I stated earlier, my mom is a single mother and, is in, and initially was working two jobs to allow me to come to Edison. Fortunately, with your support through financial aid, my mom is now able to work just one job, 
which gives her, gives her more time to spend with me and my brothers. Give <laughs> Giving speeches is not, is not my favorite thing to do, <laughs> but I know how important this event is for Edison students. Plus, I took Toastmasters, la Toastmasters my freshman year, which helped a lot. Thank you, Mr. Keller. <laughs> It has been an honor to share my story with you all. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your story. You know, you don't look that tall from down there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what we've reached is really the pinnacle of why we're here tonight, which is not only to raise money for Edison for operations or events or sports, but to raise money for tuition assistance, to ensure that every child that has a need to have Edison in their lives, has that opportunity. And I think, you know, I, I've done the speech a lot of times, and, and I've, I've heard a lot of speeches, and, and i got to tell you, yours was phenomenal, and, and you brought something to my attention. You, you know what tuition assistance not only allows the child or student an opportunity it offers a single mother or a single father or a struggling family to maybe cut out an extra job so that they can focus on being a parent to their children. That's huge.